I'm Nicholas Kristoff, a columnist for the New York Times and an author, and maybe more important, a product of Oregon Public Schools. I'm probably the only person here in the New York Times who can arc, weld, or <laughs> uh, you know, vaccinate a lamb. I actually got my start in journalism because of something that happened at Yamhill Grade School. There was an organizational meeting to start a school paper. Some kids went, I didn't, and so they elected me editor in absentia. And my journalism career was born. And it became a real passion in high school. There were some real benefits to going to Yamhill Carlton High School. We turned the school newspaper into a community newspaper mailed out to everybody in the area. It was an ambitious venture for a bunch of high school kids, and we <laughs> screwed up a lot, but we also learned a lot. My mom is still living on the family farm that I grew up on. Every summer we go back as a family, and my kids become farm kids. One of the reasons we go back to Oregon is to backpack. We hike through the Three Sisters or through Mount Jefferson. It really is glorious. But at the end of the day, Oregon's greatest natural resource, it's not those glaciers, it's not Cannon Beach, it's the people and it's the kids. You know, we're incredibly fortunate. I think we need to understand the good fortune we have and to indeed pay it forward and create that opportunity for others. I've traveled to more than 150 countries around the world and seen some of the most abject poverty. What is troubling to me is that when I come back to the U.S., I see cycles of poverty that are pretty much the same whether you're talking about Yamhill, Oregon, or Zimbabwe. There should be a quality of opportunity. One of the things I've learned in a career of reporting is that maybe the best escalator of opportunity is education. It provides more skilled workers who have better jobs, who build up the local economy. It gives people a sense of meaning and fulfillment. It creates better citizens. The costs, when we fail to provide that, are enormous, and they're borne by absolutely all of us. That if we care about the health of our communities, there's no better way of preserving that than by investing in our schools and in our kids. Yeah.